hello everyone welcome to pep coding so we are going to look into the second question of our series that is climb stairs so what is given in this question this question is similar to our uh, question done in recursion series that was print stair paths okay so this question is similar to that but here now we have to give the count of the paths okay so let's discuss this question here we are given that currently we are standing at this zero floor that is the ground floor and now there are some stairs given to us okay one two three four five and six okay so let's say this six is our destination okay so six is our destination and currently we are standing at this zero floor that is ground floor now we have three Three choices that from every step from each step we have three choices of one jump two jump or three jump what does this mean this means that if we are standing at one so if we are standing at zero we can take either one jump or two jump or three jump similarly let's say if we are standing at three we can take one jump two jump or three jump so using these jumps we have to count that what are the possible paths or what uh, what are all possible paths uh, using these three jumps uh, we can reach to our destination so this is our question okay so with this i hope the question is clear what is this question saying this question is saying that if you have these three jumps and you are standing at the zeroth floor and your destination as it uh, as at, uh, as at the sixth stair that is at the top then what are the all possible ways that is what is the count of all possible ways uh, that you can reach to a destination so i hope the question was clear uh, we have done the same uh, using recursion let's try to discuss that what we what we used to do in the, uh, recursion uh, so there what was our expectation like for this question what will be our expectation and what will be our faith we will discuss that our expectation can i say that my expectation from the function is that if i pass it a number let's say n then it will give me it will return me what it will return me all the possible paths that is all the possible paths that is sum of all the possible paths sum of all the possible paths using which using which i can reach to my destination right this is my expectation now what is going to be my faith my faith is that if i have these three jumps okay so if i use these three jumps that is f of n minus 1 f of n minus 2 and f of n minus 3 that is if i take one jump from n step and if i take two jumps and if i take three jumps then these n minus 1 will give me all its possible paths right i will say possible pos paths it will return me all the possible paths this will also return me all possible paths from this n minus 2 for example if i am at 0 if i take n minus 1 that is if i from 0 if i take if i go to first step first step that is if i go to this stair one step from here all the possible paths are already stored here so this will give me the answer similarly if i take this step directly to the second stair this will give me all the answers and if i take from here to 3 it will give me all the answers so this is my faith now what uh, how i will meet my expectation it will also give me possible paths so how uh, what will be the final answer i have to just add these these all the possible paths right this is nothing but same as if i am at n this is my destination then i take a jump of a one a jump of two a jump of three that is nothing but n minus one n minus two n minus three okay this is this is and there are some steps here okay i have to just add these three answers that is n minus one n minus two and n minus three this is nothing but the same as uh, when we are uh, doing the question of climb down the path climb down the stairs so this is nothing but climb down the stairs okay what we used to do in that 
in that question our destination was at zero right let's say zero so sorry this one this is zero two three four five and six let's say we were at this position and we had to climb down these stairs and we have to reach the destination zero so what we used to do we used to take n minus one n minus two and n minus three right from here uh, there were only three calls that is n minus one n minus two and n minus three and then we used to add the answer that we are going to get this uh, uh, get after making these three calls so what was the tree, uh, tree diagram for that question that was let's say for four we are at four we took three steps that is one two three what it was n minus one it will lead me to the third stair it will lead me to the second stair it will lead me to the first stair right from here also three calls that was one two and three it will lead me to which stair second stair it will lead me to first stair it will lead me to zero stair zero stair is my destination this will also give me one two and three calls that is it will lead me to first stair it will lead me to zero stair it will lead me to basement that is minus one from here also three calls that is one two and three it will lead me to zero minus one and minus two now from here also again it will lead me to one zero minus one this will lead me to zero minus one minus two right uh, this is one this will also have three calls that is zero minus one minus two and this will also give me zero minus one minus two right now here we can see that what are the base what will be our base cases wherever there is a zero that is my valid path right now let's see if these are valid paths or not we can see that one 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 and one yeah one one from fourth stair i have to go to zero stair then one 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 is a valid path which means if this is four three two one and this is the zero stair then one then again one with using this path i can reach to my destination so yeah it is a valid path what what are the second valid path uh this is that is from one one two that is nothing but i take a one step again one step and directly then two okay this is also a valid path now similarly uh what is the next path that is one and three say so one okay now we are going to let's discuss what will be the negative base cases these negative values or these are the for failed base cases what are these this means that if i if this is my stair or let's say if this is my stair then minus one minus two this is considered this is my basement if i reach to let's say this position that is at the first stair if i'm at the first stair and if i take a call of n minus one i am reaching at my destination okay this is a valid path but if i take a call of n minus two i'll be reaching to my basement and if i reach to n uh, uh, if i take a call of n minus three i am again going to reach in, uh, to the minus one that is deep in the basement so i say that from zero to zero okay from destination if this is my destination so from uh, zero to zero that is from uh, that is to reach from destination to destination i have one path what is that path that path is not to take any jumps that is not to make any jumps just stay, stay at that position only that can give me one one path right if i'm stay if i'm currently at some position and if i don't move and that is my destination then i'm already at my destination so that is one path but if i am at minus one and i need to reach zero but i have i say that there is no path why no path let's see if i am at minus one okay and if i take i have what calls n minus one n minus two and n minus three right these are my three calls if i take a jump of one that is n minus one i am going deep in the basement 
n minus 2 also is leading me deep in the basement n minus 3 is also leading me to the deep in the basement therefore i can say that from if i reach to minus 1 if i reach to basement that is if i go beyond the destination if my destination is at any point and if i go beyond that then there is no way back to reach to my destination so with this i hope that this is clear that from minus 1 i cannot reach uh, i cannot climb back to zero that is i cannot come uh, come to my destination if i go beyond my destination there is no way a uh, way back towards the destination so therefore uh, i hope these two things are clear that for zero uh, for, for if i am at destination then there is one path to reach my destination that is not to move and if i am beyond my destination then there is no path okay so this is the same logic we are going to use but now how the dynamic programming is being introduced in this question let's let's try to see that if this was my question let's say you can see that one is being solved here one is solved solved here solved here and solved here okay even though if i am at the first tier i have three choices that is to take one jump to take two jumps to take three jumps so is my answer going to change i say no because if i am at stair one i have only three choices that is to take one two or three jump so at last i have three choices there means that means that i have three three ways that is only three paths and i don't know if that path is valid or invalid but after going uh, after taking those three jumps i i got to know that there are some path that that means it is leading me to some path that is this path this path and this path out of which one path was a uh, correct path and other two was inval invalid path but i got to know here only now when i am reaching at the second step that is second stair i am again sorry uh, when i am reaching at let's say yeah second stair then again i am taking a jump of one and again i am trying to find that if uh, that is going to be a valid path or not this means that i am traveling the same path or i am jump i am taking the same jumps from the same step again and again and that is going to lead me to the same answer therefore this is not a good a good way to approach uh, i'll i'll try to show you by doing the code let's say what was our calls we know that f well let's say there was a a Let's say return return function of n minus one plus answer we get from function of n minus two plus answer we get from function of n minus three right and what was our base cases if n is equal equal to zero then do what return the uh, return one that is we have one path if my destination is zero so from zero to reach zero i have one path so return one else if if i n is smaller than zero that is if i am reaching to my ba basement that is going beyond the destination then what we have to return we have to return zero So with this, I hope this is clear that why this is not a good approach. We are traveling the same path multiple times. Therefore, to avoid this, what we are going to do? We are going to use dynamic programming. Now let's see how dynamic programming is being introduced. There are three stages of dynamic programming. We have already discussed three stages. What were those? first stage was to assign storage and meaning right second stage was what to identify the direction of problem right and third stage was what to travel and solve right these were our three stages now let's discuss the first stage okay so for n is equals to 5 
what will be the storage what is the size of storage that we are going to create the size of storage is going to be n plus 1 why n plus 1 because i have to travel from 0 to n therefore in list we know that indexing starts from 0 and our answer is going to be stored at n therefore i have to create a size of uh, i have to create a storage list of n plus 1 size right therefore let's let's do that try to think of the meaning that what is going to be the meaning of the storage until i uh, i am finished with this storage okay right so this is an example for n is equals to 5 right now let's try to think about what is going to be the meaning of this storage let's say what we have to do we have to climb up the stair right what we have to do we have to reach our destination our destination is is at which position at this position we are currently standing at this position right so this means that if i am at second stair then from uh, let, let's do it let's say we are at this position right we are currently standing at this position so what is going to be the meaning of this cell the meaning of this cell is that from this position at this particular position to reach to the destination that is to reach to zero all the paths are stored here what i am saying is if if, if i am at let's say this position at a, at fourth stair then from re, fourth stair to reach the zeroth stair all the possible paths are stored here that is the sum of all the possible paths are stored here okay so with this i hope the definition is also clear to you that is meaning is also clear to you let's try to identify the direction of problem now for direction of problem we have to identify that where is the smaller problem and where is the bigger problem so if if, if we uh, talk in the terms of if, if we take an example of climb down the stairs climb down what is it going to be it is going to be something like this this was my stairs right if this is my stair okay okay if this was my stair and this was my destination and this was my current position then what i have to do i have to take jumps right so for climb down the stairs what is going to be the direction i have to reach from my destination to source my what is sorry my source to destination currently my source is at where at zero therefore we have already discussed that to reach from destination to destination that is to reach from zero to zero i have one path right that is easy to solve right this this part is easy to solve so i say that small problem is currently at this position therefore big is here because to go from this 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 particular position to here i have to solve right we have to calculate the answer to grow go from Desti source to destination currently my source let's say currently my source is at top i have to climb down these stairs right so for that my small problem is here and big problem is here so what i'll be doing i'll be traveling in this direction and i'll be so filling my dp okay this is my dp let's say this is my dp dynamic programming uh, storage so i have to travel from this place and i have to uh, i have to travel from this side uh, towards this side I had, and I have to fill my answers in this storage right now <coughs> sorry now let's see that how we are going to travel and solve as we have discussed that from 0 to 0 that is if uh, my destination is 0 and my source is also 0 that means to reach from 0 to 0 I have how many paths one path so can I store that directly here Yes, I can store the data directly here. So I will be storing one here, right? Now, to reach from one, sorry, to reach from one to zero, I have how many steps? Uh, uh, I had three choices. That was one, one jump, two jump, or three jump. That is, if I am at this position, 
फर्स्ट एयर आई हैव वन जंप टू जंप एंड थ्री जंप दीज टू जंप्स आर गोइंग टू लीड मी टू बेसमेंट सो लेट्स से इफ आई एम एट दिस पोजिशन फ्रॉम हियर लेट्स से आई टेक वन जंप टू जंप एंड थ्री जंप दीज टू आर इन वैलिड पास बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग बी ऑन माई डेस्टिनेशन देर फॉर आई कैन कंसिडर दम एज जीरो सो एडिशन ऑफ दीज थ्री इज गोइंग टू बी वन ओनली देर फॉर आई एल बी स्टोरिंग वन ईयर ना सिमिलरली फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस आई कैन टेक थ्री जम्प्स राइट दिस इज दिस लास्ट जम्प इज गोइंग टू लीड मी टू जीरो देर फॉर एडिशन ऑफ दीज थ्री इज गोइंग टू बी टू ना सिमिलरली फ्रॉम दिस पोजिशन आई हैव थ्री जम्प्स वन टू एंड थ्री ओके एडिशन ऑफ दीज थ्री इज गोइंग टू बी स्टोर ईयर दैट इज फोर ना फ्रॉम this now from this position i have again three choices that is 1 2 and 3 addition of these three is going to be stored here that is 4 5 and 6 7 that is going to be 7 right similarly now from this position i can take three steps right that is 7 plus 4 plus 2 That is going to be nothing but twenty three, right? So where is my answer going to be stored? Sorry, twenty three, not not twenty three. It's going to be thirteen. Sorry, my mistake. So thirteen is going to be stored here. So my answer is going to be stored at nth position, right? That is at this index. So what this means? This means that to reach from zeroth stair, to reach from zeroth stair. So to reach to zeroth stair from given in given in that is from top to reach the bottom. i have 13 valid paths right now this as if you have uh, if you have a question in your mind that this question was to climb up and we are solving for what we are solving for climb down then how is uh, how are these two uh, answers going to be same right so if th this this is this question we have done is for climb down right we are uh, jumping down these stairs so therefore the answer is being stored at n so if what if we are going to use climb up when we are going to solve for climb up the answer is going to be stored at 0 for climb up what we are going to do if we are given n this is our destination so we will be storing one over here right let's say this is my dp right i am going to store my answer uh, this one over here Similarly, I'll be taking three steps from here: one, two, and three. These two are going to lead me beyond my destination. Therefore, it is going to be, uh, it it is not going to give me anything. Therefore, I'll be adding these two. Right? This is going to lead me beyond my destination, and I'll be adding. Uh, in short, the DP will be spelled same, but in a reverse order. Therefore, my answer will be lying at the zero position. We are going to see the same question in uh, in the next video, so uh, don't get confused with this. That why are we uh, climbing down the stairs when the question is of climb up? These two are going to be same, just the direction will be changing, and our uh, answer will be stored at for climb up. Our answer will be stored at zero, and for climb down, our answer is being stored at nth position. That is it. So now let's try to do this in code. I hope that uh, these three stages were clear to you all. I'll just comment this part. Okay. So now, what we are going to do? First, we have to create a storage. We have to create a storage of what size? N plus one size, right? Now we have to pass the storage. Fetch this storage that has received this storage. Now what we are going to do? We know that from zero, that is from destination to destination, I have one path. So let's say from zero to zero, I have one path. I stored that as that is. Now similarly, after making two calls, that is n minus one, n minus two, and n minus three calls, I know that I will be getting answer one only. And here I'll be getting answer. Some of these two will be going to be two. That will be stored at second position. Now I'll be 
uh, starting my for loop that is uh, we are going to iterate throughout the dp from where in range from 3 to n plus 1 right and what we are going to store insert at i we are going to store the answer of dp i minus 1 plus dp i minus 2 plus dp i minus 3 right and our answer is going to be stored at where at nth position let's try to run this code and it is being accepted let's try to submit therefore it is being accepted for all the uh, given test cases so with this i hope that these three main stages are clear to you all and also that don't get confused with climb up and climb down just our uh, position of our answer that is the answer where the answer is going to be stored will be changed uh, for climb up our answer will be stored at zero for climb down our answer will be stored at n that's it so thank you for this video let's meet in the next video